Paul Psilga, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 10th question from the March 2022 SAT. And number 10 reads, which expression is equivalent to y to the 1 8th power times y to the 3 4th to the 3 halves power? So you've got to know your exponents here. I'm just going to rewrite for starters. And what you've got to do here is multiply. When you've got an exponent raised to an exponent, you have to multiply. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. I'm just going to copy down y to the 1 8th. And by the way, what am I doing here? I'm following PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And there's nothing to do within the parentheses. Then you've got exponents. And with the exponents, you're going to multiply before you... Uh, you're going to see we're going to wind up adding those exponents. But y to the 1 8th power, when I multiply those, when you multiply 3 over 4 times 3 over 2, remember your multiplication rules. You multiply the top together, you get 9. You multiply the bottoms together, you get 8. So it's y to the 1 8th times y to the 9 over 8. I wrote that in a weird order. But <clears throat> what else do you have to keep in mind? When you multiply um, the same base different exponents, then you have to add the exponents. This is the same as y to the 1 8th plus 9 8th, one big exponent, 1 8th plus 9 8th. And when you add when you add fractions, you've got to add the top, so we get 10 in the top. The bottom stays the same. Y to the 10 over 8. So we want to reduce that fraction. Uh, 2 goes in the top 5 times, 2 goes in the bottom 4 times. So it's y to the 5 over 4. And now, last thing, we've got to convert it to root form. So I would recommend doing this through in exponential form and then converting to root form in the last step. So remember that this is the same as the fourth root of y to the fifth. So how would you know that? So it looks like our answer is going to be a. Well, a number of different things. First, keep in mind that it's out of order the way you'd read. So we read top down. We read y to the 5 over 4. But we also read left to right. We read the fourth root of y to the fifth. So it's out of order the way you'd read. It does make sense logically, mathematically, that y to the 5 over 4 would be the fourth root of y to the fifth because tops of fractions, 5 over 4, 5, make things bigger. So do exponents, y to the fifth inside that root. Bottoms of fractions make things smaller, 5 over 4. The 4 in the bottom is going to make the fraction smaller. So do roots. Uh, the fourth root is going to make something strong, smaller. And then lastly, keep in mind your trees, the roots are on the bottom. So if it's the fourth root, the four is in the bottom of the fraction. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with exponents or adding or subtracting, um, multiplying or dividing fractions. Because you do need to do this by hand at section three. So any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or AZT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.